YouTube, what's good? It's your boy 360 Jeezy, and we are back with another haircut tutorial. In this video, I did a um, basically a shadow taper on a 360 waiver. Came in with a nice beard, I fixed him up, hooked him up. I'm gonna show you how I did the shadow taper, and also. My 360 Jeezy brush will be restocking either the 14th or the 21st. I haven't really um, decided yet, but I'll continue to let you guys know as the days go by. All right. Other than that, stay tuned. It's your boy 360 Jeezy. All right, you guys, so before you start cutting, two things, all right? You wanna comb the hair out first. One, this lets the client know that you know what direction you're going in as far as his wave pattern. Two, you're lifting the hair off the scalp, making it easier for the hair to run into the teeth of the blade. So make sure when you comb in that direction, you also cut in that direction. So my client wanted a two on top, so I went ahead and grabbed the two guard using my wall cordless seniors, and I got the lever fully closed. That way it's a for sure two on top. So I'm going with the grain of his pattern, making sure I go slow. I've checked in the front um, to make sure there's no calyx or nothing like that, so I'm able to really run through the hair all the way to the hairline. So I'm doing a shadow taper. So I'm gonna start with the lever open first using my Andis Cordless Masters, going up about an inch and just making sure I go over it multiple times. That way it's at that lever open length. Next step, you wanna use the one guard with the lever open and go up about a half inch. You're still setting these guidelines as if you were, you know, putting in that ball line, but only thing that you're not doing is putting in the ball line. So the steps are still the same, but instead of starting with the ball line, you start with the lever open. So after that, you basically just wanna clear out the bulk at the top by putting on the two guard with the lever open. All right, what we're doing is scooping out, trying to get it to blend in with the lever two that's on top. Now going back with the one guard with the lever open, in a flick out motion, I'm just flicking out between the one and the two. So now, lastly, with the zero guard closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Use your corners the entire time because you don't wanna have to worry about that other side of the blade um, taking off hairs that you don't want. So now to the most important part, and lastly, what you wanna do, um, when it comes to perfecting the blend, you wanna detail your work, okay? I'm using my corners with my lever open, getting into those bulk areas where I could clear out some hair um, so it won't look so bulky in certain spots. Now when it comes to the back, I do the same steps as when I do my bald tapers. I set in my bald line first, then I go in with the lever open. Next step, 
go in with the one guard open and each of those steps you want to go up about a half inch all right then i'll flick out with the number two come back down um you know getting those areas between the one and the two with the one guard open come back down softening up that bottom line with the one guard closed and make it easier for me to take it out with the zero guard closed okay in a flick out motion you want to take out that middle line and lastly the ball line with the lever closed So as far as doing the front line, I like to bring the front line down a guard size lower. So we did a two on top. So now I'm going with the one guard with the lever open and I'm just taking off a little bit of the edge. That way your client won't have any overhang when he brushes his hair.
Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in the full 360, and they come out looking like... Damn, son, where'd you find this? We make it look easy. You, too, this is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother, he does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360GZ and my Instagram is 360GZ. But it's your boy 360GZ and I'm out of here.